over one World Trade Center. That was yesterday, Thursday, just one day before this 14th anniversary of the September 11th attacks. That's just, that's perfect. Yeah, it shows it? the rainbow appears to start right at the World Trade Center site. Isn't that something? That is just beautiful and not something you see every day. Mother Nature certainly has a funny way of working. These scenes of chaos were captured on a mobile phone. The Grand Mosque was packed with worshippers at the time. The Saudi authorities said Mecca had been hit by unusually heavy rainfall and strong winds before the crane toppled. Uh, actually, if we could pull up a picture, there was a lightning uh, bolt striking the crane. Uh, you can see just at this time this huge lightning bolt striking the crane in the middle of these thunder, rain, windstorms. Uh, so it does appear to be a natural incident. However, we do have to say it's pretty interesting that it is happening on 9-11. Strange is happening in the skies above Costa Rica. Look at this on your screen right now. What is that? An iridescent, multicolored cloud is leaving people very confused. Pictures and video of this cloud has flooded social media, with many saying it's the sign of the end of the times. Others say it's a sign of God. Experts say there is no need to panic. They explain the cloud is caused by a rare weather phenomenon. Yeah. Just like keep getting bigger. Like, wow. Look at the sky! It's the most beautiful thing I ever seen. The same phenomenon happened last month in South Carolina. We want to get you caught up on some other news very rapidly. We're following a developing story in South America where a tsunami warning has now been issued after a massive earthquake, an 8.3 magnitude quake that hit off the coast of northern Chile. This violent shaking from an 8.3 earthquake in Chile has triggered a tsunami advisory for the California coast. Good evening. Late today, the death toll climbed near Utah's border with Arizona, where a wall of water with breathtaking speed and power swept away vehicles filled with people, killing at least a dozen. More storms are expected to hit southern Utah, just as the region is starting to clean up from a deadly round of flash flooding, flooding so powerful it swept cars away. At least 12 people have died in Hilldale, an area known for a large group of fundamentalist Mormons who practice polygamy. The community is far less known than the man who inspired its creation, Warren Jeffs, serving a life sentence for child sexual assault. I've lived here all my life, and. I've never seen anything like this. People in these towns of nearly 3,000 people say they've seen flooding before, but nothing ever like this. We're just greatly humbled by this, but we realize that, you know, this is an act of God. It looks like something out of a world-ending disaster movie. But this was the scene on the water around Naples in Italy on Saturday, as the area was pummeled by hailstones the size of ping pong balls. The hailstones, which were well over five centimeters in diameter, came hurtling out of the sky. In Thailand's capital, pictures and videos of a mysterious flash in the sky lit up social media today. It's a fireball that appears briefly. Historic wildfire season in California has taken another turn for the worse. This one's called the Valley Fire, north of Sacramento. And in just 24 hours, it's grown to some 60 square miles. That's more than double the size of Manhattan. It's destroyed hundreds of homes, gutted cars on the highways. It's scorching land at a rate of speed fire officials have not seen in 30 years. This area haunted by scenes once unimaginable, but now very real and possible again in this drought-stricken state. Cautiously, we made our way through what looked like the gates of hell. This was a neighborhood, and now it's gone. It's just 
utter chaos. There's nothing like it. The flames raced through several communities, but the hardest hit was Middletown. The fire struck its heart. Shaking in Big Bear this morning, a 4.0 earthquake hit that area. I'm Virginia Chow. I'm Jason Martinez. This is about eight miles south, southeast of Big Bear Lake, about 9, 10 this morning. But get this, seismologists in the region were all in Palm Springs at the Southern California Earthquake Center during their annual meeting. They felt the shaker and they said their early warning system worked. Now to our top story, a storm that brought record-breaking rain to San Diego County is heading out. Water gushed down Convoy Street in Kearney Mesa and caused some major flooding. Some weren't even able to get their cars out of their garage. A heartbreaking sight for the owner of this new Lamborghini. Oh, it's done. <laughs> it's totaled. It's only a week old. It's, uh, yeah, it's only a week old. Probably started seeing new credit cards in the mail, little chips on the ends. They're meant to keep thieves from getting your personal information. Well, soon you might have already seen them. You'll start seeing these machines more so in stores that actually read those chips. NBC's Chris Clagham explains when you'll start to see them and why people are a little bit concerned. Pretty soon, swipes will be out, inserts will be in. The much anticipated chip and pen credit cards are about to become the norm at retailers nationwide. New advertising screens shaped like giant human eyes have been installed as part of the revamp of Birmingham New Street Station. They use cutting-edge facial recognition technology to profile groups of passengers and shoppers before picking which adverts to display. It's the first time the system has been used at a major railway station in the UK. In addition to being shaped like eyes, these new screens also have hidden cameras that will effectively look at people as they pass in and out of the station.